Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to talk about the games that were added to the Nintendo Switch Online today. Yeah, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System stuff, Super Famicom, Nintendo Entertainment System, and Family Computer ones, or Famicom Home. Anyways, we're going to use a Super Nintendo controller for this, and we're going to start with what was released on the Famicom. We've already updated these. This is for the 17th of February, 2021. Um, these were added around midnight at that time. So that's kind of nice of them. Kind of suspicious, though, that this was not added on a Thursday. Okay, so what did they add? They added one game to the Famicom one, and it's a um, it's Fire and Ice, which is a sequel to Fam some Solomon's Key take a real quick look at this I'm not sure about these I don't know what we're doing in this oh good lord okay anyways these ones here are kind of like okay let's do that you jump and the basic idea is that you're trying to um, extinguish these fire things in each little level. It's a pretty good puzzle level thing. It looks really good for being an NES game. Or Famicom game. Let's get back out from there for a moment. And we're just going to go on to... Let's go ahead and move this one real quick. Over. Let's just move it to here. Okay, we're going to... Move out from there to the Nintendo Entertainment System one. Let's go back here. Let's see what they added to the NES version. I think for the NES version that we have the same thing, um, which would be Fire and Ice again. Which I was kind of surprised. Let's see what's new to play. Yep, Fire and Ice. Same game, um, but in English. Yep. Uh -huh. Nice. Pretty much the same game, but in English, so we're going to get out of that one. And let's go ahead and see what they added to Super Famicom. If you like puzzle games, check those out. Yeah, I think it's kind of weird that it's called Fire and Ice in the United States, um, but I think it's Solomon's Key 2 in Japan. Let's see what was added to Super Famicom. Yeah, this this week this week around was kind of like um, sorry this month around was kind of a week in terms of those, unless we have some surprises showing up at the Nintendo Direct that's supposed to happen later today. If there's something that happens, we'll do another video about it. Okay, we have Psycho Dream. Um, I think it's Last Bible too. Or, um, oh, is that Persona or is that Fire Emblem? I don't remember. It was Mario's Cross though. As far as the Super Famicom games go, this one's, a, this one's a pretty good one. And let's be honest, the Cross games are kind of awesome. Uh, they are some of my favorite little puzzle games. And once you've learned how to play, you don't really need too much need to worry too much about like the um yeah it's pretty simple and why do this be next to that yeah I, I don't I don't need to tell me how to do this how do I skip let's skip so I can get to the actual game yes I would play a little bit of that but um let's go back to here again let's take a look at this yeah I think this is last Bible or um, Revelations Demon Slayer, or not the Revelations Demon Slayer, it's a Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, this is a Shin Megami Tensei game. Um, Shin Megami Tensei 2. Yeah, and 20XX in Tokyo. So, if you don't know Japanese, this is completely inscrutable. But... There were like translation things for these available a while, a long time ago. Um, there used to be a, like, back when we had to, um, 
rely on these types of translations. There were some things where it'd be like, oh yeah, do this, pick the site first auction, option, that type of thing. There'd be synopsis of the stories. And then people would make little patches for these so that there'd be like bootleg translations of them. But yeah, let's get out of that one. And then Psycho Dream, which is also, I think, one of the ones that we got in the United States. From Riot. An odd one here. Psycho Dream. It's one, the, like, it was really weird, the ones that they picked up. They picked two different characters. <laughs> and it is a side-scrolling, uh... Wow, um... I bet this is censored in the United States. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they didn't let this character look the way that they do in the US. But I'd be surprised if they did. All things considered. Okay, let's pop out of there for a second. Pop out of here and let's check the Super Nintendo game. See how the see what they added to that. Like I said, this one's kind of a little weak. Unless there's some kind of neat little remake of um, Earthbound or something that's coming up to us later. Um, yeah, they haven't added anything like... Yeah, this one's completely different. Um, Psycho Dream is the only one that we also got over here, weirdly enough. And then Prehistoric Man, which is an odd one, odd choice. I mean, I don't, even, I don't know who owns, like, the Titus license anymore. And Doomsday Warrior. Let's hop into Doomsday Warrior. It's like a side, it's a um, fighting game, I think. Let's check. Check out that Mode 7 for the logo. Oh, you know what would be absolutely amazing? If, like, they moved the Super Nintendo Killer Instinct onto these. I would like that. Let's do normal game. I don't know what the buttons do. Let's see, let's pick our person. We have... What? Uh, whatever that is. Um, that thing. Wow, that guy's name is Plump. Here's the obligatory female character for a fighting game. Hmm, let's see what we got. Rival select. What should we pick? I think we'll go with this Amon character. Versus Daisy, Dancing Plant versus Heavy Metal King. This seems kind of like a weird choice for me. To, choice to me that they did this. Actually, I'm gonna look something up real quick. I'm gonna look that up on uh, game price charts. Cause like this one's kind of a little weird. Price charting. Let's do Doomsday. Warrior. Okay, so Doomsday Warrior is pretty, pretty cheap. Yeah, it's not something that... Okay, there we go. I had to adjust the volume on my recording device. It was giving me a little bit of an echo. Anyways, we've got that one. Let's see, Psycho Dream. For Super Famicom, that one's actually a little harder to find. It's about 50 bucks, loose. And then Prehistoric Man. That's so weird. Well, Prehistoric Man for Super Nintendo is like a uh, $25 game. So loose is about $25, complete is about $78. It's kind of a little weird. Um, let's see real quick. Titus... Prehistoric like, man. That one's a weird one because it just it was put out by Pass Interactive who and Kemco. Oh, okay, so Kemco's responsible for these. Hmm. Okay, Kemco USA was closed, but products are released through Kemco of Japan. So it's technically still alive. I'm not sure why there's a bunch of these, because it's not a publisher people think about often, if at all. 
Yep. What did this button do? Okay, this button. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a Street Fighter type game. I'm trying to see if there's any special moves I can use. L and R buttons like do that. Hmm. Wait. Oh, I did that. So I did some kind of special move here. Oh. Weird. It looks a bit like it's a like a Sega game to be honest. Like something you see on the Genesis. Psycho Dream, which I'm surprised that they did. This one? It's just the flat out Japanese version of it. Unless they localized it, I'd be surprised if they localized it. Wait, what? Let's pick Maria, see if she looks different. No, this is just flat out the Japanese Famicom game on here. Completely untranslated. I'm not sure why. This makes me think a little, this makes me think a little bit of, um, Games like um, Magician Lord. Yeah, Magician Lord is the game. This is the name of the game I'm thinking. This is the game I'm thinking. Yeah. So it's a bit like Magician Lord or Shinobi or a couple of the other ones where just walking right to left and. Oh! Like Rygar in a way, yeah. Yeah, this is very Genesis is the. Literally, that's what makes me think of, yeah. Like, uh, Genesis or Vector Man type thing. God, there's a lot of these. I thought maybe it got, like, some kind of release in the United States, but no, it did not. Weird. Weird. I guess that's a, uh, shield of some sort? What's that one? This is just a weird game. I think it's kind of great that they put out a game that people likely have not played. So, huh. But yeah, if you're a fan of stuff like uh, Magician Lord from um, SNK or um, Altered Beast from Sega or Rygar from. Uh, I forgot how to put out Rygar. This is probably something to try out. And it's free because. Hey, if you have the online service, you get these. Let's check out Prehistoric Man. Tidus. Oh, they should get Tidus the Fox. That one actually is one that I played that like once and thought was pretty decent. Tidus put out some weird stuff. Let's see. One Night in Prehistory, blah, blah, blah. This is not to be um, confused with Joe and Mac. This is different. So before we start our quest, oh, you know what'd be kind of great? I think it was finished but never released. Um, Mohawk and Headphone Jack. That was another weird little obscure game that if they put it on the uh, Nintendo Switch for this, I'd be like, I don't know why you did this, but thank you. Yeah, so let's see, it's Mohawk and Headphone Jack. Yeah, that was released in 1996. Um, it was a THQ EU Black Pearl software. Black Pearl software is just THQ. It's Electro Source. It's one of those where people haven't played it, but probably they should. I'm trying to think. Titus Software. Yeah, I want to see what else they have. That was just kind of a weird one that they put that out. Let's see. We've got. Hmm. Maybe it's because, like, remember when the Game Boy Color came out and uh, Quest for Camelot was one of the launch titles for that? Nintendo of America put it out themselves. Yeah, maybe it's because. I don't know why. I, 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 it's, it's still kind of weird to me that this happened. Oh, there is a sequel to this, but I don't think it came to the Super Nintendo. They also had um, Lamborghini American Challenge, which I'd be shocked if they brought that over. And Super NES version of um, Prince of Persia. Hmm. Kind of a weird one. 
Oh, I think my character's falling asleep. There you go. Blah, 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 yeah, button, etc. Sorry, I was looking up the history of, a. Uh... Ooh. Okay. Let's, let's, let's beat that thing up. Okay, so you are a slovenly, um, caveman who goes around beating up furries. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, 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 real hunter. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm, I like that these characters that you run into have kind of like, um, Banjo-Kazooie style voices. I, I, I appreciate that. It's very, very special. <laughs> oh no. This music is like... This feels like something that you would have um picked up at Blockbuster because they were sold out of Donkey Kong Country and you're like, eh, why not? Not the fact that it's here and free, you know, because of stuff. Not too bad. Oh, I should probably get better, get more health at some point. Yeah, that that's the same voice that um they make in like Banjo Kazooie. That. What up, your kid? I've been waiting for you for ages. Why is everybody else a better weapon than this character? Oh, that's a checkpoint. That's disturbing. Oof. Okay, so the spikes got me. Oh, there's a shout button. Oop. Okay. I wonder if I regained that over time. Yep, I do. Now, this isn't Bonk's Adventure by any stretch of the imagination. That's a better game. But this isn't too bad. In fact, um... This is charming in its stupidity. What, right, Sam? How did you do? What have you bought for our village? They can't eat that. That's not good enough, Sam. <gasps> really? What is this rated? I'm, I am shocked, Super Nintendo game. This is like... When you play, like, say, when you first played, like, Street Fighter 2 in the arcades, you're like, if you hit a character enough times, you can make certain characters barf. You're like, oh, it's a secret, or there's blood when Blanca bites people. Um, really, though? Damned pathetic? Really? You must do better. We need that food. I, I don't... I don't know, everyone looks pretty well fed to me. I mean, look at Sam over here, and he's just like, um, just, he, he's kind of, um, he's not, I don't think any of these people are really starving. Oh well, and besides, you just brought them rocks. What are they gonna do with that? <laughs> Maybe it's trying to be like, uh, Adventure Island, but not really. Ooh, highlighter. Oh, so it's got some Metroidvania aspects. That's not too bad. I can definitely appreciate that. Okay, let's get up to there. Do this one. Let's get this mosquito. Okay. No, we, we missed. We tried, we tried. Oh man. This is actually decently designed. You know, I play a lot of indie games and indie platformers and some of them have like really bad where you push like a little bit left and your character just goes flying like three or four spaces. Momentum's a little messed up in this game but you do have this stuff. Because you need edging. Like this edge stuff here. In most good precision platformers you have a little bit of an edge. Oh 
my character doesn't really duck, does he? He just does whatever this is. And it's disturbing. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel like they intended for people to, like, rush through these. So, that running button is good for, like, building some quick momentum, but generally, if you look it down, you're gonna die or run into stuff that you don't want to. Definitely appreciative. And there's a little bit cheesecake. Did you know that if you find all the letters of the word bonus, you can match a few times for you, so you get careful of bonuses. Ah, uh, yep. And right over here, she's got a B. And he's got a D. No, that's terrible. I'm not gonna make that joke. I did. And here's your going to the cave. There's our checkpoint. Weird stuff going on here. There's some pretty decent verticality to these levels, so that's a that's a good thing. Yep. Ah oh, man. There's gotta be like a double jump at some point that you can get. Maybe you can go back to certain levels. If you can go back to certain levels after you get to a certain point, that would be super useful. Ooh, I want those. So I want momentum. Nope, I can't get to them. Oh wait, I can get to them from here. Okay, or I can get to them by bouncing off y'all. So, what we've learned from Prehistoric Man, or Prehistoric Man, is that it's important to bounce on furries. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. There's the O. We found it. Okay. I wonder what better weapons I can get at some point. But yeah, this is surprisingly deep. Not expecting that. I was actually kind of expecting it to be kind of lame. I was like, why? Why is this here? But it it's definitely justifies its inclusion. And, like, you pay 20 bucks a year for this service, so, um, whatever. We get free games. Yeah, because if, if I saw this in, like, a, uh, yeah, if I saw this in a store, like, a used game store, I wouldn't buy it. But this kind of lets me play it a little bit. Maybe if it was cheap, I kind of feel like it's it's priced exactly right on right on line. Anyways, let's go back to that game selection. So that's what was added to the Nintendo Switch Online service as of the morning of February 17, 2021. If there's more stuff that gets added in the future, we'll cover that. But for now, um, let me know in the comments below which one you think is the best out of the ones we've shown. I would love a translation of that, of that um, Shin Megami Tensai game, though. That would be amazing. Probably won't. I mean, what's kind of funny is that on the NES version, sorry, the Famicom thing over here, there is the original um, Fire Emblem, but then we had that special edition that came out over here where they finally translated it, which, yeah, it was only available digitally, but it's still good. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up, share button, subscribe button, ring that little bell so you're notified when we have, ever we have a brand new video here at Area DMG, and until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya!